brought to you by Adorama. Adorama is the best camera and gear store. So if you're going to go get your stuff, go to Adorama Superstore in New York City. See Ben, tell him I sent you. That's Michael Arts has sent you. He'll give you a great deal and treat you right, as will all the people at Adorama. They have great expert advice. And if you can't get into the store, go to Adorama.com and shop there. You can also buy, sell, and trade your used gear at Adorama.com slash sell. You can rent it from Adorama's rental company, and of course, you can print out pictures on Adorama's pick site. Now, we have a great show here from Cinegear on the Paramount Studios back lot. It just keeps getting better. It keeps getting more exciting. We've got great photos streaming into the InstaCube here. The hashtag is Be Terrific TV Stage. I love what's coming up. A lot of our behind the scenes stuff and a lot of other great pictures from vendors around here and from you at home. So check that out at GoInstaCube.com. Our hashtag is Be Terrific TV Stage. Now, we are streaming live thanks to the Mushroom Network's Streamer 8000. Basically, the Streamer 8000 takes eight USB modems, puts their signal together, and gives us terrific bandwidth. That's what's streaming this broadcast. And this is a first because we're taking iPhones and iPads. Our only cameras are iOS devices, and we're running them into a Paladin switcher and then using the Mushroom Network's streamer to stream. So mushroomnetworks.com, go check them out so you can do a broadcast. And of course, yourpaladin.com so that you can also switch your broadcast. We're using the Filmic Pro app and a lot of podcasters. So go to the iTunes store, check out Filmic Pro. This is a beta version with live HDMI out. And of course, check out the podcaster at thepadcaster.com. We're in the Marshall MXL booth. MXL Mics makes amazing mics for doing what we're doing right now and for doing all sorts of iFilmmaking, plugging right into your iOS device, mxlmics.com. And of course, Marshall for all your monitors. We're using them right now. Marshall makes great monitors, Marshall Electronics. And we're showing you a lot of live wireless transmission thanks to the Marshall HDMI transmitter. I have a very, very special guest joining us now. It just keeps getting better. It just keeps going on. Jahit Atkin, Aiken, Aiken. So, I'm so sorry, is joining us right now from Mushroom Networks. You're basically powering this whole thing. It's pretty impressive, and your box is amazing. It's the Streamer 8000. We plug it in, we turn it on, and boom, it works. We've got great signal, and we've been streaming for two days now. Wonderful. It's, it's, it's great to hear, Michael. And thank you for taking the time to, to chat with me for a few minutes today. You described it perfectly. Streamer is a device that we engineered for uh, people like yourself, where they want to bring live video from anywhere. So you, uh, normally you would require a satellite truck or a wired internet line at the venue. But with Streamer 8000, uh, we merged together up to eight cell cards into a single optimized IP tunnel. So right now we're sending this to a CDN, that CDN, or two CDNs simultaneously, that's Ustream and YouTube. We're sending it to both CDNs and the Streamer 8000 is letting us do that, but also if you wanted we could go point to point. So if our switcher for our main broadcast was back somewhere else, anywhere in the world, we could send it back to them into their switcher and we could have them put it live on air after putting graphics on or maybe a talk back and forth. Yes, exactly. So it's fairly modular. So depending on your application, we can uh, customize the module and you get just plug in the receiver on your studio side and then you take it out as an STI signal, for example. Then you can feed it into your switcher after your production to stream live again. That's awesome. And, and when you're using something like the, the Streamer Pro and you're doing that with the Streamer Pro, what's the latency like if we wanted to do a talkback from New York to California? Streamer Pro is the version of the Streamer which has the built-in encoder. So it's roughly uh, the same concept, but it has the adaptive encoder which allows you to adapt to real-time variations in the channel so that uh, it's basically invisible to the naked eye. Uh, that system uh, can achieve under a couple of seconds latency end-to-end. -end. Excellent. So that's really amazing. You can do a real talk back, a real live shot from anywhere in the world. And because of the eight USB modems, you're actually able to get a signal. Even in a remote location, you can get some kind of signal. Um, so tell me about, let's start with the Streamer 8000. Tell me about the device, walk me through it, and then we'll go to the Streamer Pro and some of the other products as well. Yeah, Streamer 8000 actually uh, 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 come to be because of our clients who started using our data product 
to push video. So uh, several years ago, we realized some of our clients using our Truffle product line, which is basically an appliance to bond wired lines to push data uh, over bonded internet lines. They started using uh, that to stream live video. So we thought, oh, this is a great application, and why don't we optimize and build a unit specifically for that? And Streamer is, is exactly that. You can plug in pretty much any resource. Of course, cell cards are common in real-time deployments, but you can use satellite, wired lines in combination with cell cards. That's what's amazing is you can use uh, an Ethernet connection, satellite, all these other Absolutely. things together to make it better and to give you a fallback as well. So that's really tremendous. Um, and then, you know, tell me about the Streamer Pro. It, so what the Streamer Pro would do is if I had a single camera or I had a traditional uh, video switcher and not a Paladin um, or something like it, I would send my signal out to the Streamer Pro and the Streamer Pro would do all the work. It would encode the video and send it. Exactly. The way I, I like to look at it is Streamer is really that imaginary super fast line that you can plug it into your already uh, perfected uh, stream of flow. So you can plug it into your stream uh, switcher if you want camera uh, with the encoder and encoding the stream. It's just an internet line that's optimized for video. On the Streamer Pro what we have done is we focus more on the portability aspect of it. Uh, you can literally attach the Streamer Pro at the back of a broadcast camera, plug in the STI connector, and you're good to go. That's all you need. And you've got a V-mount for like Anton V-mount and Anton Bowers. Or, yep, yep, absolutely. Um, for V-mount and Anton Bowers, that's awesome. Um, and, and Sackler makes V-mounts, and Anton Bowers have the, the plates, the gold plates, so that's terrific. That works well. Um, what about you have enterprise solutions as well? Yeah, that's actually how, how we started. We, we uh, started with the premise of uh, being able to virtualize uh, IP tunnels and those are your enterprise lines anywhere from MPLS, DSL cable lines and really creating a bonded intelligent pipe uh, which is basically in the form of an appliance. So our business clients plug that into their branch offices, plug in any internet resource, uh, broadband lines, T1s, MPLS, and the system intelligently creates a fast and reliable internet line. And this is also great for first responders, EMS, and, uh, you know, where DOD, you have any, and any yep. kind of situation where you might have to set up camp right here, right now, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's it, both video as well as on the data side, we also have applications. For example, we have deployments in trains where passengers can get super fast internet line over bonded cell cards. Now, uh, Fox Sports is using the stuff that we're using here, uh, a lot of other networks. Mm -hmm. uh, tell, tell me a little bit about who's using it in broadcast. Yeah, actually, it's pretty amazing. Uh, every day we're, we're seeing uh, different verticals, different markets, and different applications. But I would say primarily, of course, the uh, on the broadcasting and webcasting side, uh, there's a, a clear demand. Uh, on the uh, not so obvious side, we have uh, first responders. For example, we have uh, a lot of applications on the uh, police and uh, sheriff uh, departments using the application, and also on the DOD side as well. So we have Army, Navy. I was going to say DOD is Department of Defense. In case you're not following at home. Yeah, absolutely. So it's basically anyone who needs a live uh, video, live intelligence from any point that. Uh, you normally don't have a wired line, or even if it's a wired line, the reliability is not uh, good enough. Uh, you can use a combined uh, total resource or whatever is available in that I think what I'm most impressed by, and, and in the past I've, I've used some other products, and what I'm most impressed by was this has been super reliable. It's worked first time out of the box. It's worked every time. And we've been testing it for a little while, and we've used it here, and we tested it in the hotel, and we tested it at Marshall Electronics, and we tested it here, there, and everywhere. And it's worked. Every single time, there's been no unplugging cables, plugging them back in, pulling things, doing this, doing that. It just works, and that's what I'm most impressed with. MushroomNetworks.com, I think it's a terrific solution. Tell me about the future of the company. Yeah, so we're, we're absolutely uh, investing a lot of resources on, on the uh, video delivery side. And we, we have uh, the different paths in terms of webcasting, broadcasting, and the DoD applications, as I mentioned. Uh, but we are also working with uh, the new trends and new technologies that are coming in. For example, H.265 is one of the technologies that we're integrating. Uh, we already support the 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second, but that's a side we always keep track and uh, continue to support. 
units are going to become smaller and lighter, so we're always improving. Actually, that's kind of our motto, uh, bridging to the future. So uh, uh, whenever we see an opportunity where it's almost possible, but not quite there yet, we bridge that gap. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And uh, I think that's what Bridge Keyboards does, by the way. <laughs> they bridge the gap between a laptop and an iPad, creating a iPad laptop with yeah, uh, Bridge Keyboards. You know, so I, I don't know. I saw this like great synergy to talk about both products that way because I love. You know, we could have any sponsor, right? But I will only have sponsors I believe in, and and that's you know, you guys have similar ideas and concepts, and I love when people think of good things. And and yes, like you're bridging the technology is terrific. Um, I can't tell you how impressed I am with your stuff. I just, it's really, really impressive. I'm glad we've done this together. I'm glad that it's its its working. It's unbelievable. I can't say enough good things. Um, and I think the most interesting thing to me is you can also do onset monitoring as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I can wirelessly monitor. I can plug this into a camera and watch what the DP is doing as a director or as a client on a corporate shoot. Yeah, absolutely. And you can do that either on site or remotely. So it's right. basically a cloud-based cloud management system. So what's great about that is I could do it on site um, or I could direct from afar. So I've got a client that we're talking to and they want uh, me to go either go to Sweden or direct from New York from Sweden. So we might be using this for that or I might go to Sweden. I don't know. Sweden <laughs> sounds kind of fun, so I might go. But we uh -huh. certainly have this need a lot. So it's, it's really, really terrific. Um, and it's really, really exciting. You know, how did the company get started? It, you know, it's been around for a while. This isn't, mm -hmm. you know, it's not the first week, the first month, the first year. You guys have been around for a while, but how did you guys get started? Yeah, we have an interesting story. Actually, we're ba based out of San Diego, not yeah. too far from here. Uh, and the roots of the company... I should be calling you doctor, by the way. Uh, because you are a doctor, and that's so impressive to me. And I'm sorry I didn't lead with that, Doc. No, I I, <laughs> I usually forget about that myself because I, I as a matter of fact, I never worked uh, as as an engineer that relies on my PhD degree in electrical engineering. However, every single day I use the things I learned, uh, the tools I uh, learned in in that uh, educational path. But the company back uh, started uh, back when uh, it was a research in. University of California, San Diego. So our roots go back to UC San Diego and it was a spin out of UC San Diego. And uh, interesting enough, at the time I was uh, on the venture capital side and the uh, VC fund that financed Mushroom Networks was, was my employer at the time. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What's it like working on the VC side? I've always kind of dreamed about working on the VC side, thinking it's so glamorous, but it's a lot of hard work and stress and pressure, is it not? It is a lot of work, although I, I have to admit, uh, Getting something off the ground uh, like a startup company, uh, I think, is is way more work than than VCs. The VCs have the advantage of jumping between ideas, concepts, and companies, which is, I think, quite interesting. Very uh, good. On the uh, building the company side, you really have to focus and really get things done. Yeah, it's all it's all a lot of fun. That's for sure. Uh, Cool and 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 so mushroomnetworks.com is where people should go, mm -hmm. and it's just it's it's a very 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 reliable product. If you want to do a live broadcast, this is what you need. Mushroomnetworks.com. You got to speak to Mare. She's awesome. Call her up, email her, whatever it is. Go check Mare out, and you can be doing your live broadcast whether you're all the way down doing some webcast like us, or you're all the way up doing a live broadcast with ABC. Um, it's, uh, Michael, it's really amazing. Uh, if I may, I, I want to also uh, uh, say that if if any anyone calls uh, with the uh, code word artists, we will yep. apply fifteen percent discount that on their purchase. That is terrific! Wow, look at what we did for you guys. Thank you very much. You're if you call with the code word artsis, A R T S I S, if you can't spell, don't worry, just say it wrong. It's fine. They'll get the hint. If you call with call with the code word artsis, you get fifteen percent off. Fifteen. That's one five. That's amazing. Thank you. You're I'm glad we did this together. I think it's really amazing. And not only that we did this, but it's groundbreaking what we're doing. Thank you. Yeah, it, it really is. Um, I think we've got Josh with Marshall Electronics. We're in their booth. They see the vision. They love what we're doing. They love the whole iFilmmaking movement. We're doing this on iPhones and iPads. Are you impressed, by the way, with the setup? Abs Seriously, you've seen a lot of setups. Absolutely, yes. We, we, we work with a lot of clients. We've seen a lot of uh, setups. And the production uh, environment you, you created here is amazing. Yeah. So it's powerful. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, us. Michael. I think we've got Josh with Marshall Electronics. Bernie from Marshall is going to take us through their wireless transmitter and some other great products like their great monitors. They've got 4K monitors. Can you believe that? Be terrific stage.
Be Terrific TV Stage is your hashtag for this InstaCube. Be Terrific TV Stage. Josh, are you ready, brother? Take it away live from Cinegear 2014 on Be Terrific, brought to you by Adorama.